with this short video you will learn how to create a wiki page in Ilias. What you have to do first is open your personal desktop and select the course for which you would like to create a wiki page. Then from the menu bar on the top choose the content bar and view option. Press the add new item button and a dialog box appears and finally click wiki. In the newly displayed window, there are two obligatory elements that you will have to write down. The title of the page and the title of the start page, which are marked with a red asterisk. The title of this page will be Jonathan Swift. I will also include a brief description and the name of the start page. If you tick the boxes below, you can make the wiki page online. You can activate rating for pages, public comments or page overview. And finally, you select the Add Wiki button to create the wiki page. Now you can see the title of the whole wiki page and its short description. To start editing it, simply choose the Edit button from the menu bar. Make sure that the page is in edit mode on the right side of the page. Then left click on the placeholders and a drop down menu appears with the functions that you can perform on the page. From the drop-down menu, select the Insert Text option. A blank space appears where you can add your text. You can produce the text on the fly or you can copy it from a document and paste it in the blank space. Once you have entered the text, you can format the paragraph by choosing from different modes. You can also format single words by making them bold, italic and underlined. Then you save your formatted text by pressing the Save and Return button so that you can also view the changes in the page. To add bullet points to a text, you simply add the target text, mark it and choose the Bullet List button from the taskbar. Once again, you left-click on the placeholder and from the drop-down menu choose Insert Image or Media. In the new window, choose the image file that you want to insert and adjust its size. You can also insert the address of the image. If you choose to adjust its size, you should set its width and height. Here I will insert the image with its original size and will give a short description in the caption box. Finally, click Save and go back to the page to view the changes. As you can see, the image with the caption is inserted, but we would like to change its position. You simply left-click on it and choose Align Right Float which means that the image is positioned on the right with respect to the text. Left click on the placeholder and from the menu choose Insert Advanced Table. You can determine the table definitions such as number of columns, rows, the cell padding, etc.
I'll make mine left and floating. And you can add a brief description of it. And then you save the definitions. Once you have inserted the advanced table, it enables you to add information in it. For instance, you can insert a text in it. Then you save and return to view the applied changes. You can also insert an image within the table from the same drop-down menu. The advanced table with the text and the image has been successfully added to your wiki page. But if you want to change the position of the image once again, you simply drag the image to its target position and the table is modified. To save all modifications, you press the Finish Editing button. Now you can check your wiki page and the information you have included in it. If you want to correct a mistake like the typo boring, you simply go back to the Edit button, then left-click the text and choose Edit from the drop-down menu. Save the changes by pressing Save and Return and finally finish editing. The wiki page is ready.